after the body of a missing Pea Ridge officer was found in Iowa, a northwest Arkansas city is left to grieve. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Nate Custer. Cirilla Doyle was last seen on October 27, 2008. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigations found Doyle's remains back in May of this year. The Bentonville Police Department positively identified the remains as Doyle's yesterday. KNWA's Peyton Yeager was in Pea Ridge today to learn how the community is coping after their favorite woman in blue was finally found. I was at work yesterday and I cried all day. I, it was just one of those things. Even now I want to cry because she was my friend. After a 10-year-long case was cracked, the hearts of Pea Ridge are left shattered. I originally met her at school when I was a young kid, like first, second grade. Cirilla Doyle was the Pea Ridge school resource officer before she went missing in 2008. All the kids in school, it was always officer friendly. Rachel Hayes' fondest memory of officer friendly, the countless labors of love. If my mom and dad had problems, couldn't get to us at school, here came Officer Friendly. There was a couple times she actually drove us home in her police car. When fellow Pea Ridge classmate Kelsey Smith heard the news, she was reminded of her childhood with Doyle. She was always positive and always had open arms and um, just loved her life and loved her job. The last time Rachel Hayes saw Cirilla Doyle was a decade ago this month. And today she grips Doyle's picture, knowing others will honor her the way she honored the city. She deserves this. For police, Doyle's disappearance remains a mystery. But for these two women, the legacy Officer Friendly left behind with her generation is clear. When you meet Officer Friendly, you meet someone who loves her job and then you can inspire to be like. It didn't matter if they were small children or teens or young adults. She was there. If you needed help, ask. And really, we need more people like her in this world. In Pea Ridge, Peyton Yeager, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.